Today, we'll be going through a full step-by-step -step tutorial of how to roll options within Interactive Brokers. Now, for those of you who might be completely unfamiliar with what a roll actually is, it is simply closing out your current option position, then opening up a brand new one, either further out in time or on a new strike price. This type of transaction, again known as a roll, can be used in several different ways, whether it be to manage your risk, or take some profits off the table, or even to save a losing trade. Now, I will mention before we even begin that Interactive Brokers does not make this process incredibly simple, so I'll be sure to cover it very slowly to make sure you guys really get the hang of it. Jumping right in and beginning with our very first method today, we're going to be using a tool called the Rollover Options window. In order for us to access this tool for ourselves, we'll simply need to come up here to the New Windows tab in the upper left hand corner. We'll then look down below in this long list of available tools and we're simply going to find and click on the one marked Advanced Options. We'll then be able to see the submenu of tools, and in this case, we're specifically looking for and clicking on the one marked Rollover Options. That'll then open up the Rollover Options window and display all of the options in the account that expire in the next five days by default. Looking up here at the top, you can even select if you want to narrow it down by the calls or the puts in the account, and then you could even select if you want to make a default where you want to roll all of them to. Now in my case, looking up there at the top, you can see I currently have calls selected only. And looking down below, you can actually see I have two calls in this account that expire in the next five days. One of those is on Apple and the other one's on Amazon. Coming up here to the actual description box, I could actually widen that out just a little bit so I can actually see the strikes that I have those on. So in case of Apple, I've got the 136 call and for Amazon, the 109 and a half. Looking to the right, I can see those are both naked call options because I sold them. They say negative one next to it. And just to the right of that, I can see they are both in the money. Since these are both short options, that's not really great for me. In this example, I'll definitely want to be rolling those out of the money if I can and hopefully save these trades. In order for us to actually do that, in order for us to actually initiate the roll inside here, there are also a couple different ways to do that. The first method is actually by coming up to the top and selecting a default roll for both options. Using the default as the example, if we come up here right now, what this is saying is we want to roll our current options to the next option expiration at least 10 days out in time. Right now, I believe that July 1st is the next option expiration that's at least 10 days out. So what it's saying is I want to roll Apple and Amazon out to July 1st. The next one down is asking what strike do we want to roll them to? In this case, I currently have same strike selected. So in the case of Apple, it'll roll it to the 136 call. In the case of Amazon, it'll roll it to the 109 and a half. To confirm that, to confirm I know what I'm talking about, if we come down and select load roll two, it'll actually throw those in the roll two column on the right hand side here. Let's come over here and actually widen out this column just a little bit so we can see the full amount in here. And it looks like I was wrong. It looks like the next expiration that's at least 10 days out from now is actually July 8th. But you can see here what it did. It actually built out both of the rolls. It's going to move them both out to July 8th, and it's going to move them out to the exact same strike. If we instead wanted to roll it to, let's say, the next monthly expiration, we could actually come up here to where it says nearest expiration, go ahead and click on that, and then select nearest monthly expiration. We could then say we don't actually want to move it to the same strike. We want to try and move it out of the money if we can. So in this case, what I'm going to do is actually select lowest strike that is at least, let's just say 1% above. I'm then going to come down here and actually select refresh roll two, and let's see what it rolls them to. In the case of Apple, it looks like it's going to try and roll it to the July 15th expiration. That's the next monthly expiration available, and it's going to be moving it out to the 140 calls because that's at least 1% out of the money currently. Right below that, we can see something very similar for Amazon. It's rolling it out to July 15th, and it's moving it out to the 114 call, at least 1% out of the money. If we actually wanted to place both of these, we were happy with the way it built this out, we could actually come down here and select Create Orders. It's then going to build them out down here below, and then we could actually specify the price and hit Transmit if we actually wanted to submit them. Now, besides that default method, you guys also have the ability to pick your strike price and your expiration manually if you wanted to. So in order for us to do that, we're simply going to come up here and select the pencil icon of the option we want to adjust. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the Apple option. It's then going to open up an actual option chain. From here, we could then look down below in the option chain and then pick the strike price, pick the expiration, and then roll it out to that particular price. So in this case, let's say we wanted to move it out to... Uh, actually, we will use July 15th, and I'm actually going to move it out to, let's say, 141. So we'll come over here and click on the current bid price. 
We'll then come down here and select OK. And now you can see it has moved up to the 141 strike. If I want to do the exact same thing for Amazon, we'll come down here to the pencil. For Amazon, we're actually just going to move it out an additional week out in time, so July 8th. And in this case, we'll move it to, I don't know, the 113.75. These are actually non-standards, but we're going to go ahead and click on this and hit OK. So now you can see here, I did manually select both of the expirations and strikes I wanted to roll them to. And again, I could hit create order down here and then transmit them, put in the price, actually submit them. Really, this tool is going to be great for people with very large portfolios that need to manage all of their options very quickly. Although for me personally, I prefer to do it another way, which is what we're going to go over next. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out all of these. And to do this next method, we're actually going to be looking down here below at the portfolio tab. So looking down here, we can actually see all of the current positions in my account right now. For this very first example, let's go ahead and roll out this Apple call option, which is about to expire in the money tomorrow. Since I don't want to get assigned and I don't actually want to go short this position, let me come down here to Apple and actually right click on it. Now, as soon as I do that, it actually does open up a little trading window on the right hand side or a little menu. In our case, we're actually going to completely ignore that, but instead focus on the buttons up here at the top. The one we specifically want to click on is the one that says roll over here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and click on that. As soon as we click on that roll button, you're actually going to notice a big option chain opens up over here on the left hand side. And the very first thing we should notice is our closing transaction to buy back that call. And right here it's highlighted in blue. The very next thing we need to do is actually specify where we want to roll it to and to what strike. Now in this example today, I am going to try and roll it out as far as I possibly can while still getting a credit. We'll also go ahead and use the next monthly expiration as the example. So looking here, it looks like if I were to buy it back, I'm going to be buying it back for 271. So keeping that in the back of my mind, 271, if I scroll down now to the July 15th expiration, looking down here below, it looks like if I were to roll it out to the 142 strike, which is actually $4 out of the money right now, it looks like I'd be able to do so for a credit of 287. This roll will hopefully allow me to actually save this trade. It gives me a couple extra weeks for the trade to play out, and I move my strike price up by $4. So if we wanted to use this one as the example, I'm just going to come down here and actually select the bid price, 287. You'll then see down here below that it actually creates that rolling transaction right here. And remember, we just did this manually rather than creating it with that other tool. The only other thing I would have to do is actually specify what price I wanted to roll it for, how long I wanted it good for, and then I would just hit submit order to actually place the trade. You could also do this on spreads as well. So if we were to exit out of this and actually looking down here below, it looks like I've got a bear call spread on Microsoft expiring on July 1st. Just like before, if we wanted to roll this thing out even further out in time or move the strikes a little bit, we're just going to go ahead and right click on it. We're going to come to the very top of this menu and specifically click on roll. You'll then see an option chain just like before pop up, but this time we actually have two legs currently selected because remember, this is a vertical spread. We're going to be closing out of two trades. We're then going to be opening up two brand new trades further out in time. Now, in this example, we are being tested on this vertical spread. I can see in the upper right hand corner that Microsoft is currently trading for 259. So as of right now, I am deep in the money on this trade. It is a losing trade. Now, ideally, I'd like to roll it out in time and up if I can. But a lot of times with vertical spreads, you will not be able to move those strikes for a credit. So let's just say we want to give ourselves a couple more weeks and we actually think Microsoft is going to come back down. So what we're going to do is actually go out to July 15th once again. And looking down here below, I'm going to be selling the 255 call and I'm going to be buying the 260 call as the hedge. So now looking down below in the roll builder, we can actually see this roll for the vertical spread. Just like in the previous example, the only thing we would have to do is specify the price we want to roll it for, how long we want the order good for, and then hit submit to actually submit the trade. But hopefully that answers all of your questions about rolling within interactive brokers. I know it can be a little bit overwhelming in here at first. There's a lot to learn, but I promise you with a little bit of practice, you guys will get the hang of it. If there was anything you guys still had questions about, please let me know down below. And also please consider hitting that like button if you did find this video helpful. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one.